Thank you very much, everybody, for settling down. We're going to start in about a minute. I'm going to request uh, everybody in the hall to put their phones on silent and uh, take your seats, please. Thank you very much once again. A big warm welcome to all our media colleagues, our me fans, and a special welcome to everybody who is watching us live right now. Thank you so much for taking our time and joining us today. I'm Manu Jain. I head Xiaomi's business here in India. Uh, let me start by telling you a little bit about the philosophy of the company, which is innovation for everyone, which means we want to launch really high quality, very innovative products and make them affordable so that everybody can enjoy the technology. And the first piece, which is innovation, that is something which is very relevant for today's launch. Because the product that we're about to launch, I can confidently say that's the most innovative product in the world. So let's see where Xiaomi stands right now. Uh, we continue to be one of the top five smartphone brands across the world. But what is most amazing is that if you look at these top five brands, Xiaomi is the fastest growing brand um, in the world. Xiaomi, con <laughs> Thank you. So Xiaomi is growing 60% year on year, much faster than all other big smartphone brands in the world. September was a great month for us. This was the first ever month 
when we shipped more than 10 million units in one single month globally. A significant part of this business came from India. In India, we had a big Diwali or big billion day sale on our two pla partner platforms, Flipkart and Amazon, towards the end of September. And I'm happy to share that in just about two days, we sold more than a million units. Now, this is pretty incredible, because if you look at last year, um, we had a big Diwali sale, and it took us about 18 days to cross a million mark. And this year, we were able to cross a million mark in just about two days. Based on what we know, Xiaomi is the first ever company in the history of India which has sold a million units in just about two days. And during these two days, <laughs> thank you. During these two days, we were selling about 300 units every single minute. We were the number one brand across both the partner platforms, Flipkart and Amazon. On Flipkart, Redmi Note 4 was the number one selling phone. Of course, Redmi Note 4 is also the number one selling phone in the country. On Amazon, uh, it transparently shows the top selling SKUs. And if you look at the top eight selling phones on Amazon platform during this period, all eight were Xiaomi phones. Uh, We had a big sale on me.com, our own e-commerce platform, towards the end of the month that we call as Diwali with me. During this period, we got more than four crore sessions or visits from more than one crore unique visitors. And during this three-day period, we shipped out more than, one, more than four lakh products uh, from me.com. Now, a lot of... Thank you. Now, a lot of people ask me, uh, uh, how are you able to do this without doing any kind of marketing? And my usual answer is, we actually do marketing, but very different kind of marketing, just that we don't spend money on advertising. So for example, for this Diwali with Me campaign, uh, we launched a new game that was called as the Deer Hunt game on a Me Store app. And this game was played about 4.5 million times by about a million people, and was shared on social media more than 6 lakh times. And this is what basically drove a huge amount of traffic on me.com and our own e-commerce app, which is MeStore app. Uh, thanks to this, MeStore app became the number one trending app on Google Play in the shopping category during this period. So thank you so much, all of you guys who have supported us, who have helped us build a strong business here in India. Let me talk a little bit about the product that we are about to launch, Me Mix 2. Now, this journey started about two years ago when we wanted to explore what a future smartphone will look like. And we worked a lot, and we basically came up with one of the world's first full-screen display devices, which was Me Mix. And the name Me Mix came by combining Me, our logo, and X from Explore. And together, it became Me Mix. And today, we are launching Me Mix 2, which I think will take this game to a very different level. There's a lot of debate about what a premium smartphone should stand for. Should it stand for technology or art? And I can confidently say Me Mix 2 is one such device, which is, a, which is an amalgamation of both art and technology. And this debate will be killed today. And to talk more about this device, I'll call on stage Jay. Thank you, Manu. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? My name is Jay Mani, and I lead product for Xiaomi in India. And today, as Manu mentioned, we're excited to announce our latest and most innovative cutting-edge product to date. Last October, we launched a concept device called Me Mix that truly changed the direction of the entire industry. It featured a number of innovations that are being adopted now in 2017 by many other devices. And it was a milestone in the evolution of display technology. It was well received by the media. MKBHD here called it the world's most new interesting phone, in my opinion. Mi Mix also received many design awards. And most recently, it has even received the IDEA Gold Award, 
which is one of the most prestigious and rigorous awards in the design industry. In the 37 years of its existence, it has only been given to 12 phones, and only the original iPhone received the gold award. <laughs> On September 1st, Mimix was also added to the Design Museum in Helsinki. Uh, behind me, you can see the official certificate. Um, but what the design director said also really moved us. He said that Mimix sets the direction for future smartphone design. Very high praise, indeed. So last month, we launched the Mi Mix 2 in Beijing. Here's uh, Philippe Stark, uh, the designer, as well as our CEO, Lei Jun. Um, the event was incredible. Here's a picture of the audience. Actually, if you look really closely, this is Donovan over here staring at his phone, and then I'm over here also staring at my phone. Uh, we both actually had Mi Mix 2, so we were trying to hide it from the people who were sitting next to us. Uh, and media from all over the globe attended to watch the follow-up to the full screen display. And since the launch, Mix 2 has received very positive reviews. Forbes says it's the phone that comes closest to reaching the full screen goal this year. Mashable was blown away and said nothing prepared them for the Mi Mix 2. It was in a luxury class of its own. Now, Mi Mix 2 isn't a concept device or a first attempt. And The Verge called it a refined evolution of the bezel-less display. At the opening sale, the first batch of Mi Mix 2 was sold out in 58 seconds. People just couldn't, thank you. People just couldn't wait to get their hands on it. And today, less than a month later, literally one day less than a month later, I'm excited to announce that we're bringing this awesome product to India. So we've heard the Mi fans, and we really wanted to bring this device, our, our flagship device this year, to India as early as possible. And considering how long things like certifications and other preparations take, we're very proud to be able to do it so quickly. So let's jump right in, first and foremost, with the full screen display. Here it is, Mi Mix 2. Now let's turn on the screen. It's remarkable. This is what a display should look like. Here's another scene, a view of the forest. It looks and sounds incredible, like you're really there. And here it is in the desert. The Mi Mix 2 display is stunning. So how did we get here? Let's take a quick look at the evolution of smartphone displays. For nearly a decade leading up to 2016, smartphones have more or less looked the same. Uh, equal bezels on the side and top and bottom. And with Mix, you can see we totally shattered this norm. This is the reason why people said Mix was the future of smartphones. It was the first smartphone in years which actually looked different. So we, we believe that the future of smartphones will be like holding a piece of glass in your hand. And we've pushed the current technology to completely remove the forehead. So when you look at Mi Mix 2, all you see is the display. And we've been at the forefront of pushing full screen display technology. So how do we do it? How does it work? We made three big changes to components that are normally at the top of your phone. One is the earpiece, the second is the proximity sensor, and the third is the front camera. So first, let me talk about the earpiece. Now on most smartphones, there are no size constraints. There's very few size constraints on the top and the bottom. And so most people don't really care about how big the earpiece is. In a traditional phone, the receiver diaphragm, which is this, uh, this square box here, is directly under the earpiece. 
But in Mix, we wanted to use the whole forehead for the display. So we had to design a custom earpiece. And in Mix 2, sound travels from the receiver diaphragm, again, this, this square box here, through the sound guiding channel and then out through the output. And this is driven by a 50 milliwatt high power receiver here. Again, the sound travels through the guiding channel and finally directed outwards. It's clear and precise. And it's importantly tucked away into the top of the device. You can actually barely see it when you're looking at the phone. And it, yet it still delivers high quality and volume. So a traditional earpiece is about one and a half millimeters. And with this custom design, Mi Mix 2 is 0.7 millimeters, less than half the size. Next, we had to remove the proximity sensor, which allows the device to detect your face when you're making a phone call and keeps the display off. It's what makes it so that you don't accidentally push any keys when you're taking a phone call. The traditional proximity sensor detects infrared rays through a small hole at the top of your device. And in Mix 2, we've replaced it with an ultrasonic proximity sensor. So Mix 2 sends out ultrasonic waves and then measures the distance from your face or, or any object through the waves received. And Mix 1 was the first smartphone in the world to attempt this technology. And we further improved the sensor sensitivity and accuracy in Mix 2. And again, importantly, this ultrasonic proximity sensor sits behind the display. So it allows us to remove the space that's normally at the top of your phone. So using this custom earpiece and the ultrasonic proximity sensor, as well as moving the front camera to the bottom of the phone, which we'll get into a little bit, we practically eliminated the entire forehead on Mix 2. But there was more to creating a full screen display. Last year, we also pioneered using rounded corners on display. Uh, they look and feel very natural, and it's actually something our engineers have put a lot of work into. But this is not just an aesthetic change. It's also functional. So if you take a look at the traditional design here, uh, this phone has a rounded corner, a uh, physical corner, which is done for better in-hand feel. And with the traditional right angle display, you can't get a small bezel. The bezels will have to be big, because that's as far as the display can go into the corner. However, with rounded edges, we can reduce the bezels on the side for optimized use of the display area. And the difference is pretty significant. It's a more immersive and fuller display. So after removing the forehead, we also spent a lot of time to make the bottom of the device, the chin, narrower. And there are three primary components that contribute to the size on the chin. The first one is the LCD driver. The second one is the antenna. And the third one is the front camera, which again, we moved to the bottom of the phone. So first, starting with the LCD driver, most phones have a module that protrudes below the display, and that contains the display chip, which is, which is the display driver. And this takes up a lot of real estate. Uh, so on Mix 2, we needed to do better. Mix 2 uses advanced chip-on-film technology, which actually puts this display IC on the back of the display, saving a lot of space. So if we look here, this piece, normally it's stuck onto a piece of glass substrate, which is this piece right here. The display IC is this yellow bar. Uh, whereas on Mix 2, we replaced the glass substrate with a soft conductive film that actually wraps around the display. And so again, the yellow IC is stuck on the back. And this saves about a full millimeter. Uh, second is the antenna. And this is obviously a, a critical function. Um, and chin, uh, in chin space, you need a lot of antenna clearance. It's called the antenna clearance zone. And this time, we've used something called active antenna tuning, which saves about 1.3 millimeters uh, versus your traditional antenna clearance while retaining the same functionality. And finally, the camera. So again, there was never really a space constraint on most phones, and so nobody really tried to reduce the size of the front camera module. You had ample bezel where you could put it. 
Uh, but in order to reduce the chin even more, we had to design a completely custom front camera module. And the cost of this was very high because nobody really does it. Uh, but it's much more space efficient than a typical smartphone. And it, redu again, reduces the size by about one and a half millimeters. And so you might be wondering what happens when you want to take a selfie. Uh, so when you take a selfie, Mi Mix 2 will adapt to how you position the camera by automatically rotating when you turn the device 180 degrees. So this puts the selfie camera in the right place when you need it, but out of the way when you don't. And so all of these improvements have contributed to an amazingly compact chin. In fact, it's a whopping 41.1% shorter than the chin of the iPhone 8 Plus. And when people look at Mix 2, typically what they see is this beautiful display. But as we've just described, it took a lot of innovative technologies, things like the ultrasonic proximity sensor, the sound-guided earpiece, the completely custom front camera module to make this happen. And now I want to go into detail on another one of the decisions we made, which pushed the entire industry forward. So Mix 2 uses a gorgeous 18 by 9 full screen display. And last year, we led the charge extending aspect ratio with Mix beyond 16 by 9. It was the trendsetter that pushed the industry beyond 16 by 9. But why do we do this in the first place? Why bother? changing the aspect ratio from something that's been used for years. So when we started thinking about this full screen display concept, we quickly realized that 16 by 9 displays just weren't going to cut it. Smartphones have looked the same for so long that when you just try to remove the forehead on a 16 by 9 display here on the left, it just looks weird. It looks short and fat, and it wasn't something we were satisfied with. And you can try this yourself if you happen to have a 16 by 9 phone in your pocket. Just take it out, cover the forehead, and it looks weird. So instead of using the standard 16 by 9 display, we took the bold decision to extend it beyond. And actually, we ran into some problems, because Google did not allow for aspect ratios larger than 16 by 9 on mobile devices. And this is a design standard they have to ensure consistency so that developers can write an app that works on any Android device. And this is seemingly simple but very difficult to execute. Google needs to set and strictly enforce these standards. Otherwise, the whole Android ecosystem suffers. And so they created something called the Compatibility Test Suite, and CTS. Uh, which makes sure that devices meet all the Google standards before they're launched. And in 2016, these Google compatibility documents clearly stated that screen aspect ratios must not exceed 16 by 9. So when we were designing Mix and realized that the aspect ratio must change, we reached out to Google and went back and forth with them for about six months. And eventually, they rejected our proposal. And so we thought we might have to cancel Mix. But after a bunch of discussions internally, we still believed that this was the best way forward. And we know that Google is an innovative company. At its heart, it's focused on user experience. So we believed that there was still a chance that we could convince them. So last September, we actually flew to Mountain View to show them the Mix concept device in person. We explained the improvements, we explained the logic, and why we believe that this is the future of smartphone design. In the end, we were able to convince Google to allow Xiaomi to use a 17 by 9 display on the mixed concept device. And back here are some of the actual emails that we pulled out. The final decision on the aspect ratio and rounded corners can be used. And congratulations on launching this impressive product. Thank you. Actually, not even two weeks after the Mix launch, Google officially updated the CDD. And now it clearly states that there are no more restrictions on aspect ratio. 
And this year on the Google blog, they recommended to their developers to take advantage of these new aspect ratios on devices such as the Mi Mix. So on the outside, this may not seem like a big deal. But it's not as easy as people think to make these type of breakthroughs. And standards are very important. It's like trying to change the law. And this is a small example of Xiaomi's contribution to pushing the ecosystem forward towards full screen displays. So for Mix 2, we chose to go with the 5.99 inch display. And when people hear this, they think it's very large. But actually, because of these new aspect ratios, we need to recalibrate our understanding of screen size. Mix 2 is actually about the same size as a traditional 5.5 inch device. And specifically, here's Mix 2 versus the iPhone 8 Plus. It has a bigger display in a smaller body. If you look at the numbers, it's 7% smaller, 4% shorter, and 9% lighter. So the Mix 2 feels better in the hand, but has a much larger screen. In comparison with 16 by 9 displays, an 18 by 9 display increases the area by about 12.5%. But importantly, here's what it looks like in real life applications. So this is browsing uh, the web. You have a full extra paragraph of content here. Uh, navigation is easier. You, have, you can see a much larger area of the map. Even visiting your favorite sites, like me.com, is better. You can see the full picture. And here it is in gaming. It's great for gaming. The rounded edges provide a more uh, immersive experience. And the ex extended display here can actually give you some extra space in certain games. And this can give you a competitive advantage. So aspect ratio is integral to the user experience, but so is the implementation. So we thought long and hard about how to provide the best experience. And when we talk about full screen displays, there are basically three different types of implementations today. On the left, Samsung is trying to make the, the forehead and the chin as small as possible. In the middle, the iPhone 10 uses a notch, which is actually something that we've experimented in the past. Uh, and then you see mix on the far right here. So in our opinion, these are the three directions that all full screen, phone, all full screen display phones will take in the future. And in the end, we chose a unique path, chop off the forehead altogether. And as any developer or publisher knows, the most important, the most valuable space is at the top of your page. So on Mix, we wanted to make full use of it. So speaking of the comparison, <laughs> we showed this uh, last month. This was by a fan. Uh, but, you know, for the India version, uh, I found this on my desk the other day. I think this is a better way to explain it. <laughs> Honestly, this is the first time I've considered shaving my head. But uh, when you look at this picture, I think we can all desire to look a little bit more like Manu here. I like CJ's face. He looks pretty upset. <laughs> OK, so, so we chose to do the full screen display this way for two core reasons. It creates a bigger canvas for developers to work with, the usable area, so to speak. And it lets us provide what we believe is the optimal user experience. And so this is how Apple encourages its developers to handle the usable display on the iPhone 10. The blue area here is what they call the safe area. Uh, and so the white area is reserved. And since, again, our eyes naturally rest at the top of your phone, we believe that Mix 2 offers a better experience for viewing content. This is also obvious in landscape mode. Mi Mix 2 best uses the available screen area, offers immersive video playback, gaming, reading, and browsing the web, and more. OK, so that's the display. Now let's talk about design. 
And when designing Memix 2, we wanted to preserve its uniqueness. We didn't just want to squeeze a work of art into a functional frame. So we collaborated with a world-class designer who shared this vision. Philippe Stark is one of the most talented industrial designers in the world. And he's been on the cutting edge of his field and for his pursuit of less is more. Not only has he designed some of the world's most beautiful creations, like yachts and beautiful private apartments around the world, but he believes in designing improvements for the largest possible number of people. He creates masterpieces for the masses, and this really resonates with our philosophy of bringing innovation to everyone. The chair that you see here is one of his most popular products. It's the ghost chair. It's sold millions worldwide, and yet it still has a beautiful design. And among his impressive portfolio is the first Mi Mix. And he has a bit to say about the Mi Mix too. So let's take a look. Renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci, masterpiece. It's sometimes strange, but good, to take time to make the perfection. Just seven days to create perfection. And also the same value than the next world. Why? It's because it's just more friendly. We create the most powerful smartphone in the world, for now. We just create the absolute perfection. So Philip Stark has been an integral part of Mi Mix 2, and his design brilliance paired with Xiaomi innovation really shows. As I mentioned, the 18x9 display is at the center of the Mix 2 industrial design. It uses a super slim, rounded, aerospace-grade aluminum alloy frame. And the matte finish is light, firm, and resistant to corrosion. But it's also incredibly thin at just 7.7 .7 millimeters. And the front of the device looks like a slab of black glass. And to achieve this effect, we use a super black lens coating on the front camera so that it blends into the device. This is actually a very difficult process, but it's worth it. When the display is off, it beautifully fades in the device. You definitely need to see this in person to experience it. And the back plate is made of a smooth, four-sided, curved ceramic. We also have an 18-karat gold-plated decorative camera rim for the luxury look. It's just gorgeous. Mimix 2 is truly beautiful. It's the ultimate balance of strength and aesthetics. You really have to see it in person to understand. And there's something elegant about ceramic, something that's so unique. It's really awesome. So how do we make it? On the left here, you have an untouched piece of ceramic, and on the right is the finished product. So let's go through the, the process of going from raw ceramic to the finished product. The first thing that happens is each piece undergoes 1,400 degrees of heat sealing. And for five days, 
this blistering heat purifies and condenses the ceramic. If we find a single imperfection, we scrap the whole batch. We don't compromise on quality. We then apply an insane amount of pressure to each piece of ceramic, 240 tons. And this further condenses the ceramic internal structure, increasing the density and strength. It's difficult to imagine just how much pressure this is. How much is 240 tons? Well, this is about equal to 110 Mercedes-Benz S-Class in weight. After this process, we precisely machine each piece using silicon carbide coated blades. And the ceramic is so strong and so hard that these blades have to be replaced after just 30 uses. So craftsmanship is everything. Each piece of ceramic takes 10 days to make, uh, seven days to create, and it's artwork at a large scale. And we do this because when compared to a typical smartphone, ceramic offers superior hand feel, excellent scratch resistance, and it's just gorgeous. On Mix 2, we also use a four-sided curved ceramic to give a premium hand feel on the sides and bottom. This makes it much more difficult to manufacture, but the difference is the difference between good and perfect. So in terms of scratch resistance, we did a quick test in our office to see how strong it is. So we have three things here. We have a coin, keys, and a pocket knife. The first one is the coin. As you can expect, nothing here. Keys. Still nothing. You can see the phone's kind of being depressed a little bit. Now the pocket knife. Again, nothing. So if we shine it up a little bit, no scratches. By the way, I do not recommend doing this at home. It's just a, for illustration purposes. And in that, in that video, you can see the beautiful shine on the back of ceramic. When you go check it out in the display zone, you'll be shocked. So ceramic in smartphones is a major undertaking, but we believe that it's worth it. And the custom ceramic used in Mi Mix 2 is twice as hard as typical glass that's used on the back of smartphones. This is one of my favorite shots. It's just awesome. <laughs> Mi Mix 2, it's subtly reflective like no other smartphone on the market. I've never seen a more beautifully designed smartphone. It's gorgeous and unique but natural. So let's take a look at the Mi Mix 2 product video. Want to see it again? So that's the design of Mi Mix 2, a beautiful 18 by 9 full screen display with no forehead, four sided curved ceramic for better hand feel on the back, the hidden earpiece, proximity sensor, and super black front. It's pure minimalistic beauty. So what's powering this work of art? Mi Mix 2 is powered by the latest Snapdragon 835 processor. This is our first 10 nanometer FinFET phone in India. And this processor is smaller than a coin and has more than 3 billion transistors. And Mi Mix 2 ranks amongst the world's fastest smartphone. And it's the fastest Mi phone that we've ever launched in India. 
Compared to 14 nanometer FinFET, it's about 40% more power efficient, making better use of the high performance. And the Adreno 540 GPU improves graphics performance by over 25% and supports the cutting edge Vulkan Graphics API. All of this is backed by a blisteringly fast 6 gigabytes of LPDDR4X RAM. And with 128 gigabytes of internal storage, you'll have more than enough space for your favorite games, videos, and pictures. This time, we chose to go with what we believe is the correct storage variant. So 128 gigabytes is awesome. Performance is top of the line in Mix 2. And the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 brings its great performance and Adreno 540 GPU with 27% better performance and 40% improved battery efficiency. And of course, you have 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of built-in storage. So now, let's talk about the camera. The rear camera sensor is a Sony IMX386. This is a 12 megapixel sensor that delivers amazing quality using large 1.25 micron pixels. And pixel size is extremely important. Larger pixels typically means brighter, more expressive photos. And the Mi Mix 2 pixels are 1.25 microns, significantly larger than a typical smartphone. We've also paired this with four-axis optical image stabilization technology. And this compensates for movement when you're taking photos or videos. Now, a typical OIS is just two axes. And you can see the difference here. And obviously, without OIS, things are really blurry. And even with the two-axis OIS, your images and videos are just not as sharp. And this 4-axis OIS combined with the large 1.25 micron pixels means that the Mi Mix 2 takes great shots in low light. It's also much better for moving photos and videos. And this is where the extra two axi really help you out. So let's take a look at some of our camera uh, photos. None of these use extra equipment, all stock. This photo was shot in Jaipur. So you can look at the exposure in this image. The dark side of the image and the bright side of the image both preserve great detail and smooth rendering, even in harsh sunlight. And it shows a good balance between the exposures of both sides. So morning water on a lake can create beautiful effects. But capturing a perfect reflection is harder than it sounds, because any wind at all will cause ripples and blurs in the water. And if you don't have 4-axis OIS or any stabilization, you lose focus on any of these ripples. So here you can see that they're sharp and in focus. Here's another great example of Mi Mix 2 uh, capturing reflection of the boats in the water. Another thing to note is that this image captures individual details on the clouds, maintaining great accuracy without losing anything. A sunset or sunrise constantly changes over time and can produce great colors as well. And here, Mi Mix 2 is able to capture a beautifully exposed landscape with great color accuracy. Here, Mi Mix 2 captures a perfectly exposed bright sky with a dark foreground. And this is all possible, again, because of the 4-axis OIS and the large 1.25 micron pixels. You can see the details in the trees up here. So the blue sky here is true to life, but you have sharp edges on the building in the foreground. And this is what makes this photo so great. So this photo here is of my hometown, New York City. Uh, and as you can see here, the buildings in this picture contain hundreds of intricate details. And when you're taking photos of architecture, straight lines mean everything. 
And Mix2 does a great job in capturing all the lines and edges with no distortion. So it's a true flagship camera. The four-axis OIS paired with the Sony IMX386 ensures a high-quality photography across a broad range of images and videos. OK, so Mi Mix 1 had a huge response globally. And so when we were planning Mi Mix 2, we wanted to make sure that it was a truly global device. So Mi Mix 2 supports 43 bands across six network modes. This is an overwhelming slide. So what does this mean in practice? Well, it means that Mix 2 works in 226 regions across the globe. And importantly for us here, it includes some of the most popular places for travel, places like the US, the UK, UAE, Thailand, et cetera. So how does this stack up against the competition? The iPhone 10 sold here in India supports 38 bands, the Galaxy S8, 30, and the Mi Mix 2, 43 bands. In fact, as far as we're aware, Mi Mix 2 has more bands than any phone, smartphone in the world. And it's actually very difficult to cram all of these bands into a device that's this compact and make them work. So to support all of this, we also have to test these radios in person. So over the past few months, our field test engineers have visited over 100 countries to test this on different, a variety of different network conditions across the world. They went to Spain, Japan, France, South Korea, even Egypt, five bars. Actually, all of these photos are real. Field test engineers taking photos in all of these countries. And when you see it, it makes it look like a pretty sweet job. So maybe I'll consider that next time. So this wide band coverage is supported by 4x4 MIMO and four antennas. So it offers better reception and improved speeds wherever you bring it. We're proud to call this a truly global smartphone experience. It's fast and compatible with networks across the world, so you can use it wherever you go. We've also made sure to include multifunction NFC. This is, can be used in a wide variety of situations like card emulation, mobile payments, file transfers, et cetera. It's really useful when traveling, and hopefully soon it'll be really useful here in India as well. So for those of you in the media who like to use the recording function, we've also added a dual analog digital converter. So on normal microphones, if you're taking an interview, the volume will depend, will vary based on you know, the distance of each speaker from the phone. And because Mi Mix 2 has dual ADCs, one with a low gain amp and one with the high gain amp, we're able to combine the input from this to give you a consistent volume for both speakers. So it's definitely something you should check out if you happen to use the recording function for interviews or business meetings. It works really well. So all of these features come together and offer a truly global smartphone. It's innovation designed for the whole world. OK, the part you've all been waiting for, the price. So after hearing about all these amazing features, I'm sure you want to know the price. Before that, let's summarize the Mi Mix 2. It's the world's most immersive full screen display. You have four sided curved ceramic with a beautiful aluminum alloy frame, which gives you great hand feel. And top of the line internals, like Snapdragon 835, 6 gigabytes of RAM, and 128 gigabytes of storage. We also have the Sony IMX386 camera paired with 4-axis OIS and the most bands of any smartphone in the world. It's in a class all of its own with top-tier design and specs. So 
comparable devices which have less RAM and storage cost from about 60,000 to 90,000 rupees. The Mix 2 features a 5.99 inch screen with the curved ceramic body, more bands, more RAM, and storage than these models here. And it's going to be available at just Pretty incredible, right? So we also have a range of Type-C phones here in India now. And so soon, we're going to be launching, uh, actually, at launch, we're going to be launching the Mi uh, noise-canceling earphones. So these have a Type-C connection and active noise-canceling. So because they're Type-C and they draw power from USB, you can power active noise-canceling without having a battery, without having the cumbersome rectangle. So if you see these in person, they look just like our Mi in-ear headphones. They're amazingly built both for comfort and they're launching just for $12,999. Or sorry, $2,999. $12,999 would be bad. <laughs> so that's the full screen display, Mi Mix 2. It's a beautiful phone available at an awesome price. And now I'd like to invite Manu here for the photo op. Thank you all for your time. Really appreciate it. Uh, more light? I hold it in the side. Yeah, yeah. Fun pose. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Cool. Uh, so just keep it cool. Thank you, Jay. Okay. So the last question, um, when can you buy this device? Uh, you can actually buy it pretty soon. This is being launched on a partner platform, Flipkart. And on next one week from now, which is on the auspicious day of Dhanteras, uh, which is 17th of October, you, we will have first preview sale across both Flipkart and me.com. And in the beginning of November, it will be available across Flipkart, me.com, mehomes, and all our offline partners. One last thing. This is the first ever device where we are introducing a zero interest EMI scheme. And this will be available across all our partner platforms, Flipkart, me.com, me homes, and all offline partners. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you for joining us today for the launch of world's most innovative device. Um, please do check it out outside. Thank you. <laughs>